everybody, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we are taking a look at the product red iPhone 12 mini. So here is the box, very mini box, and you can see it there. Red accents around here showing the red phone. And uh, let's get to it. We unboxed the green one in the last video, now the red one, because these are my two colors that I wasn't expecting to be very nice, but they ended up surprising me a lot and I love these colors. So you can see it there and you might be able to notice that it doesn't look deep red and that's because it's not. It's definitely a slightly lighter toned red, which I really dig. The sides, full on red. This is full on red aluminum, which looks nice. And I think the contrast between that full on red aluminum and the back looks great. I know some fans of actual red, might not be happy about this because we have gotten deeper and nicer reds that are actually red in the past, but I personally love this combination and love this year's color. And it's up there in my top tier best iPhone colors that Apple has ever made. And just real quick to show you what's in the box so we can move on, we have a lightning to USB-C, then just a little thing here that says product red, a SIM eject tool and an Apple sticker. And with product red, just to let you guys know, it basically just says, in partnership with Red, Apple will contribute a portion of your iPhone purchase to the global fund to support HIV AIDS programs and help deliver an AIDS-free generation. Learn more or donate at red.org. So a portion of your money goes to this foundation, which is nice because none of the other phone colors do that. So if you don't care about the phone color, might as well go red just for that. But real quick, since we did open up the green one, if you wanna see those two side by side, there you go, red and green. Uh, the green one is sometimes tough to tell that it's even green, but it helps when you put it next to another color that's totally different just to help differentiate the two. And there are the sides. But let's talk about the most important thing here, and that is the size, the mini. So here, let's look at the screen here from the front. Get that black and red combo. But let's go ahead and put this off to one side and show you all how this looks here. Next to, we have an iPhone XS, we also have, I'm searching for it here, an iPhone 7 slash the same size as an SE. So if you have any of these phones, you're thinking of upgrading to it, here's what you can expect. It's still slightly smaller than the iPhone SE and iPhone 7, 8, etc. but you're gonna get a larger screen. It's not on, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see here. So you can see exactly the screen size. So you're used to this kind of square, screen size with two things on the sides. Some people used to like these two things on the sides since you can basically put your fingers there without doing anything. You will no longer have Touch ID, so if that's something you like, I still recommend the SE, that's still a great phone. But you can basically see the difference there. Much larger actual screen on the right by a lot. So you're gonna get more text in there, more things are gonna fit more easily, and you have more space. If you do wanna increase the text size, this is also gonna work much better than the previous version. So. If you have anyone that's elderly or like my parents, for example, they like to increase the text size or just anyone, this phone is still gonna work really great for that. Of course, we're gonna have basically the exact same specs as the 12, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. This is still gonna have Apple's latest chips inside. OLED screen here on the front with very beautiful colors and everything on here. So you're not missing out on anything. Apple's not giving you something worse than all the other models like they've done in the past. It's basically a top tier phone in mini form and a cheaper price than, uh, you know, compared to the other iPhones because this is Apple's cheapest phone this year that they released. Now, if you're coming from a 10, 10S or anything like that, also again, expect it to be smaller and you can see that there. That might be a good thing for you, might be a bad thing. For example, for me, the size, while I love it and I love the portability aspect, it kind of, when I go to use it, even though I can use it with one hand, it's a little bit too small, just by a little bit. And that kind of makes me kind of uneasy and makes me wanna like just, you know, grab this phone and just squeeze it or something. I do not know, there must be a name for that feeling. But one other thing that I do wanna show you guys is compared to the size of the 12 and the 12 Pro Max. So you can see here how things look. It's a little tough here because I don't wanna put them, um, mine has a screen protector, so that's fine. I just don't want to scratch the screens. These are very expensive devices. But basically, you can see that there. The difference in sizes, I'm trying to hold it as even as I can so you can see that. It looks like it's not that much of a difference in sizes, but it is. It's uh, quite a difference. So if I hold it here in my hands, 
you can kind of see that there. Kind of give you an idea just holding it in my hand. Hopefully you can see how that would be. And then if we take the Max and put that side by side with the Mini, you can see it's gigantic. It's a big device. Mm -hmm. But again, you can see the red color there. It looks really great. One of the things I want to show you before we move on to cases is how this looks with the, um, just me holding it. I don't know what I was going to say, but just me holding it and how I'm using it. In case you're wondering, like, if I'm using it outside, how's it going to look? This is how it's going to look. You can see that the red looks really great. Again, it's kind of like a red going towards an orange on the back, which I particularly love. This would definitely be an easy phone to use one handed, almost too easy. And then it becomes hard. Does that make sense? Because I have to not go all the way to the edge and I have to come back because it's a little bit small for my hands. Hard to explain, but here you can see me while I'm making a phone call or anything. So you can see how that looks. Um, we have the razor. You can see that there. It's very small. It's really going back to those like 2005, 2003 vibes here with the size, which is great. And uh, oh yeah, the color. Here is the red color and slightly different lighting there. So you can see it with different reflections. It is a very nice color. If you like red, I highly recommend this phone. And I just think the fact that the back isn't deep red makes it even nicer. But that's just me again. So, you know, we all have different opinions. Mm hmm. So there, hopefully that gives you a good idea there. Definitely a very nice color. So now we are moving on to the case portion of this video. So feel free to skip around, leave, whatnot. This hopefully helps a few people out there. It might not, but I, you know, I have the cases, so why not try them on and see how it goes? So let's actually start off with red on red, which I personally am not a fan of red on red just because uh, I like contrasting colors. I like things to kind of pop and and uh, I think when you put like, for example, a black case on a red phone, it helps that red pop even more than when you do what I'm about to do. But we're doing it just to see. Let me turn off something over here to the side. There we go. And uh, that's how that would look. This then goes on the front right here, basically to protect the screen. And that gives you an idea. You get that red and black combo, which does look good in the front, but then in the back, it's basically all red. And uh, it just, you know, it really depends if you like red that much. But of course you can see here that this red doesn't match the red of the phone because the red of the phone is a little bit orange. In which case, to make the back of the phone look more red than less red, you would put something like black or a different color on here. That's not an actual red. And uh, worth noting that of course, since this is the mini, all these bulky cases look great on it and feel great and might even help you hold the phone a little bit better. Here, let's go ahead and uh, let's just put this blue case on here just to see. Mm, nah, maybe for some, but I, don't, I personally don't like that combo. Let's go ahead here. Oh, let's actually, I was supposed to do this one first because it's kind of the most important one. But you can see here the MagSafe wallet case, how it fits on the 12 mini. And uh, basically the exact same size as the 12 mini. It's crazy. It's a very small phone. And then if we put the Apple wallet case or not wallet, but leather case, you can see that there buttons are covered. The bottom shows through a little bit, but it works really well still. And then you can put the wallet and it actually gives the phone a slightly heftier, better feel just with all that on there. So if this is something you want to do, definitely works very, very well. Now let's move on here to a black leather case from a third party. So you can see the differences here. This is from Muyo. I do think the leather on here is nicer and softer than Apple's leather, but I haven't used either of these for a long time, so I can't really comment on the durability of either one. You can see that there, how black leather would look with this phone. I think that works really well. I particularly like matte finish cases on these uh, 12 and 12 mini, just because this isn't glossy. This is a matte finish. So I feel like it needs a matte finish case. For example, we grab this one here from Totally. And I think this right here might be a very nice combo. Just the uh, black and red. Slightly see the Apple logo still through it, giving you a matte finish in the back to get rid of that glossy glass back, which I really like here. And I think that just works really well. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Let's move on here. Let's um, 
go ahead and do this aramid fiber case, which I think will work very well. I definitely think works better than the other frosted black case. It just looks really good. Works great with that red color. And again, I really just think this red color is a real winner this year and one of Apple's best colors ever. Let's see how that looks with a case with other colors that are kind of like pink and I don't think it works for this one. The red, it just doesn't match for me. But uh, you can see that there. Last but not least, black on red. Of course, that's gonna work very well. And uh, hopefully you got to see the phone a little bit more, get an idea of how it looks. And uh, if you even so as slightly like red, I would say, you know, definitely look into this one because it is a lovely red color. So yeah, that's it for this video. Please leave a like if you can, that always helps the channel out and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.